I'm outside of the Rolex boutique here in Vancouver and I want to see if they have any models in stock. Let's go! Polo Explorer 2, the two-tone Explorer. And this is, I think, the 40 millimeter Explorer. Very cool. I like this one the most. We got the no date sub. Looking all pretty. We got the two tone bluesy. And then uh, the two tone blacked out. Two tone Wimbledon Datejust. I believe this is a 41. The Oyster Perpetual 41 in green. Again, exhibition only. There were a couple groups ahead of us, so we were asked to wait outside. A sales associate asked if we would like steel or sparkling, so I got this glass bottle. We waited about 5 minutes and was let in. I wasn't able to film inside, but the store was stocked full of exhibition only pieces. The atmosphere was polite, a little tense, but our sales associate was nice. I noticed the left hand drive GMT that was previously an exhibition piece during my last two visits was no longer here, replaced by a two-tone Bruce Wayne which we tried on. Good looking, but the maxi case felt quite large so I'd much prefer the pre-ceramics. I also tried on the Air King 40. Oddpal likes odd watches, hence my curiosity, but even if they had told me that this watch was available to be taken home, with a doubt like that, even I would have to think twice. I've just left the Rolex boutique and they had a Lady Dejas for sale. That's a new thing here for Vancouver because this is my first time seeing a piece that they actually have available to be taken home today in like 3 years time. So that's brand new, it's good news. But the bad news is that they do not have any sort of magazines or any sort of brochures that you can bring home with you. The last couple, I think three, four times, it's like every single time I go in there, I leave with a brochure and I go in there like once or twice every year. They no longer have any brochures available and I guess it's because everyone has been going in and grabbing one. So that's a bit unfortunate. I am leaving with this glass bottle of water that uh, I might put on eBay, who knows. But that's it folks, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.